We start uh, with this news that broke earlier. Anti-apartheid activist Sally Motlana has passed away at the age of 96. She's been described as a woman who found her spirit in combat readiness when Soweto exploded in June 1976. To discuss, we're now joined by Sally Motlana's grandchild, Kenosi Moroka. Uh, Mr. Moroka, thank you for being with us. So our sincere condolences to you and your family tonight. Uh, the ANC has hailed your your grandmother, Sally Matlana, as a great patriot, activist, um, a pioneer of black excellence and woman empowerment. Is that fitting? How do you think we should remember her? Hi, good evening to everyone. Good evening to you and your viewers. I'd like to f first start by thanking everyone for the messages of support. I'd like to thank the messages we received from our president. And to answer your question, yes, it is very fitting of my grandmother. She held a very special place in all of our hearts. She taught us many things. She represented many things to many people. To us, she was an activist at home. She was an activist in church. She was an activist on matters of national importance. So yes, I do agree with the description that you have given me. As, as uh, some anti-activists, um, uh, anti-apartheid activists pass, many South Africans are wondering, what did they think of uh, the new South Africa, of the ideal, and then uh, what became um, some of the challenges that we've, we've faced in recent years? Did you have any understanding of, of what her attitude was uh, towards the the government, uh, towards the the country, that uh, or what became of it? Um, I have nothing specific that I can say she had said, but in general, her view was this ending about it was only the first, the beginning of many steps that were required to uplift our nation. She looked at the current happenings as we haven't fully completed the mission that her and others like her had started. There are many opportunities for us to improve, to move the discussion forward, to heal and to fix a lot of things. She didn't have any specific views on specific mm -hmm. members of government or institutions. But her stance was that the journey of uplifting our people, our nation, and our children has not been completed. And she hoped that the younger generation would be the generation to potentially lift up the nation. Well, uh, let me end with that. Um, as, a, as a younger man, uh, again, quite a tough question, but how do younger, how does the young generation honor uh, the legacy of, of your grandmother and her colleagues in, in the fight? Uh, I, my youthful appearance belies my age, but <laughs> to speak to your question, she believed that we must all work together. We must believe in education, in hard work, in discipline, and in love. When you see someone in need, don't turn a blind eye to them. Help them. Lift where you can. Yes, everybody is on their own journey. Everyone has their own responsibilities, but there's always an opportunity to help, help those less fortunate than us. So to honor her, lift as you rise. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, again, our condolences, and we really appreciate you speaking to us tonight. Uh, this is after anti-apartheid activist Sally Motlana uh, passed away at the age of 96, and we were in conversation with her grandchild, Kinosi Moroka.